Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Steinke from Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas, and today we'll be discussing how to recover after having a hammer toe surgery, or what most patients will describe as a curly toe. And when people get these deformities, it can be caused by a lot of different things, either contracture of tendons, uh, shoe gear that's inappropriate, sometimes numbness to the foot will cause it, but in either case what happens is the toe will curl upwards like this, and the patient will get pain in the top of their toe from the shoe, or at the very bottom of the tip of the toe as that toe kind of pokes the ground. When we do surgeries for this, there's several things that we can do depending on how that deformity formed, but most frequently what we'll do is we'll remove a small knuckle inside this toe and fuse that toe straight. Uh, in addition to that, sometimes there's a shortening of the long bone behind that toe as it is the causative factor. And when people have these surgeries, the last thing we want to happen afterwards is for them to go from having that curled toe to having a straight toe that sticks up in the air and looks unappealing or rubs on a shoe. We don't want you to be flipping yourself off all the time. Okay, that's not a good look. Um, so when we have these surgeries afterwards, uh, you may, you know, your recovery process, you may have a pin inside the toe, you may have a pin that sticks out the tip of the toe and removing the office about three or four weeks. And when that pin comes out, obviously that toe is going to want to do what it wants to do. And we want to control that process while that toe heals and the scar tissue forms. So during the recovery, you'll notice that usually if you had a pin in the toe and it comes out about three or four weeks, the toe will be slightly swollen. So your doctor may recommend that you wrap the toe with a little, uh, we call this Coban or Coflex is another name for it. And when you wrap the toe, you always want to wrap from the tip of the toe first and slightly work your way backwards. And by doing this, this does two things. It reduces swelling, but it also creates like a little splint for the toe. Now this only helps with that swelling and the straightness of the toe it has nothing to do with if the toe wants to drift up or down. If the doctor identifies that that toe is elevating up or down slightly, what we'll recommend is one physical therapy to help take that toe and move that toe downwards at the joint where that toe moves in this area right here. The surgery is right in this joint, so the last thing you want to do is grab the tip of your toe and bend downwards because you're going to irritate that surgical site. What you would do is much like we have our patients do with a bunning surgery, is you would stabilize the bottom of the foot with a finger underneath the pad of the foot, put a thumb on top of that joint just beyond where the joint is here, and push downwards until you feel stiffness or soreness, and just hold it like a regular stretch for about 20 seconds. And you can repeat that several times, doing that over the course of three to five minutes. Uh, at least three times a day is a good way to do that in the early stages. And we may have a therapist help you with that as well. But when you do these surgeries, often there's an incision right next to that tendon there. And if that's allowed to scar in, again, that toe can elevate slightly afterwards. And that's a common complication for any surgeon with this surgery. So we want you to finish the result with a nice straight toe and you'd be happy with the results. Another way that we can help keep that toe down is if the toe starts to elevate and we recognize that, is we can tape it down. And a therapist would often show you how to do this, but in much the same manner that I was describing with moving the toe, you're gonna to put the tape at the base of the toe, not beyond the joint where the surgery was. You would not put the tape in this area. You put it at the base. And when we do this, what we're creating is kind of the appearance of a, of a cancer ribbon underneath the foot. You're putting it slightly over the toe, and you do your best, and this is actually very difficult, and I'm gonna show you in a moment why we don't always recommend this, and there's a better device for this, but it's very difficult to get that tape on. And what you would do is you'd hold the toe slightly downwards and then cross these two ribbons in the bottom of the foot like so. And we can do that with multiple pieces. You can see it doesn't tend to stick very well. So sometimes we'll stick an extra piece of padding in the bottom to hold that toe downwards. And this would be worn uh, during the day and within a shoe. If you take your shoe off, it's just not going to work. It's just going to peel off. We don't often recommend this because it's tedious doing this every single day. The, t the tape doesn't stay. So what we we'll recommend is this, what we call a, a while osteotomy splint or, or strap. And the way this works is you'd wrap this little, uh, this little sleeve around your foot, which is great for swelling as well. And you bring it to a point you can, where you feel like that's comfortable around your foot. And you can see there's numbers here. So you can kind of tell the next time you put it on where the, the last place you put it was and where it was comfortable. And also comes with this other strap for the toe. This little T-shaped strap goes around the toe, like so, and you just gently wrap it around. You don't want to cut circulation off. And you pull that toe downwards, again, putting pressure at the base of the toe, and you Velcro it to the bottom of the device. And what this will do is when she's walking in her shoe, it'll keep that toe down and hopefully prevent that scar tissue from making that toe contract upwards. And this is something we may have a patient wear for even several months after surgery. If there's a tear in the tissue in the bottom of that joint, they may wear it for up to four months. And then once you wear it for a few days, it can be very comfortable with that. And it actually helps with the post-operative pain from these surgeries. So again, we do a hammer toe surgery. We want that toe to finish nice and straight. We want that patient to be comfortable afterwards. So in some situations, not everyone, but in some situations we require special uh, 
processes to keep the swelling down or keep that toe down. And if you do all those things, you can recover happy and healthy with this type of surgery.